Hey, Simon here with a video entry into Amazing Murfinator 1028's 125 sub contest. Um, I want to keep this under 10 minutes, so I'll just say real quick that, uh, you know, I'm really enjoying Amazing Murfinator's channel. He does have some great videos on there. It looks like an awesome collection he has. I haven't really went through all his videos. Looks like he has a ton of them, so... I did go back to the beginning and I seen the first few like his unboxing stuff and it looks like a great start there and it just keeps getting better um, and I oh I really enjoyed his last haul the X-Men haul because that's like my favorite X-Men you know uncanny X-Men so it was good to see that he picked up such an awesome uh, he's had a great start to his collection so you know just keep up the, the, the awesome work there amazing Murfinator. Um, so, let's just get started here. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. But, uh, I want to put up these, this X-Men 2, tw uh, 212, and the Raphael, number one. Um, ah, and, uh... The Raphael actually isn't mine, it's my brother's book. So, but I always loved this book, you know, I always remembered it. And when I started collecting a couple years ago, he had this in, like, his long box that I just sort of, I went and dug out. So, I knew it was there and I always remember the cover. And I always love this cover, you know, I do love the turtles. And, uh... This thing is huge. It doesn't really fit in the frame like the other books, but I just love that cover, you know, and same with, and I think that's sort of what I'm going to do with these books. I have, I have like 11 or 12 books, just, I'm just going to show, like, these are some of my favorite covers that I have, except the Raphael, but the rest I do own, they're mine, and I think that's what I'm going to do, just base this uh, video entry on just, just the covers, just I love them, and, and uh, you know, I just see, in a lot of these books, I see in other people's calls, and I always want them, and when I see them, you know, I just have to buy them, but I always have to try and get an awesome price on them, so, and that Uncanny, Uncanny X-Men, I think it was, I don't know if that's the first time they fight Wolverine and Sabretooth, but it's definitely cool and awesome. This book I was just really happy to get. I always just... That's one of those books that I just... Ha you know, that you just stare at. Just, you know, keep looking at and... Just look so awesome with the... With all the Joker smiles. And of course this book, believe it or not, I have not read it yet. And that's just a really nice mint, ear mint copy. It's, so I don't think I'm going to read that copy, but... I do have uh, like a hard cover of it, and I definitely want to read it. I don't know why I haven't read it. It's such an iconic book, you know, and The Killing Joke is. So that's a first print one, and that's just an insane cover, you know. He just looks so evil and twisted looking. It's so cool. Um, and this cover, I always remember just that sort of stance he has with his hands out like that. I always remember that. And when I, as soon as I seen it, I knew I was grabbing it. And, and I picked that up before it was, before this uh, crazy pricing started. So, um, yeah, I was really glad to grab that last year. And here is an amazing 51. Just love that cover. I had a chance last year to get a really nice upgrade of that. Nice. I just didn't like the way the guy was selling his books, so he would just sort of have. I was it was this flea market I went to, and this guy he just sells his books. Uh, he'll just say there's no prices on them, and he'll just be like, "Yeah, just grab a bunch out, and we'll we'll see what we can work out." And he was trying to sell me maybe I think it was like maybe a seven O of that. Amazing Spider-Man 51, and it was, and the Spectacular Spider-Man, the first uh, Frank Miller one, 
and that was that was a pretty nice shape. And he was trying to sell them to me for uh, sixty bucks for the two books. And I should have took it. I don't know why I didn't, but I just didn't like the way he was pricing his book, so I just got out of there. And I haven't been back since, actually. Maybe I'll go check it out again. X-Men is definitely my favorite title in comics. So I'm really glad to grab those. I have maybe a dozen Silver Age X-Men's, but these are two of my favorite for sure. I would love to upgrade that 35. It's a pretty uh, grungy copy, but... And I love Storenko's work, and it was just awesome to pick up a nice condition book like that of the, of, uh, of X Men Forty Nine. So love those covers for sure. And I always love monster books. So when I seen a number one again before the big price hike earlier this year, I grabbed that for fairly cheap. And this year, I grabbed a Doctor Strange. Not in wicked awesome condition or anything, but... But still uh, glad to definitely grab that. And of course, I uh, have shown this one in several, several of my videos. But I just love that cover. And I guess this is all of them. So, Thanos Quest. Again, I grabbed the hat before the big price jump. So, I was definitely glad to grab those, and I love those covers. I guess that's Jim Starlin's work on the Thanos Quest. And I have not read that, that yet. It's a near mint copy, it looks like, so I probably won't be cracking that. It's one of those... And so now I'm just going to show you a bunch of books that uh, sort of have, like, you know, odd covers and sort of, a, you know, funny titles. Reagan, Reagan's Raiders. I've seen a couple of guys show these books. And I found, uh, I found these th this year. A one in, t uh, one in three. So those are kind of funny. Um, haven't read those. I am... Uh, Native American, so I always try to <laughs> I always pick these up when I see them. It's just I definitely do love Disney's old-fashioned racism, <laughs> and I always pick these up. There's another one too where uh, he's trying, where Donald's trying to put like these donuts around their beaks, and I just I can't find that anywhere, but. To me, these are sort of racist covers, you know. It's like shooting shooting down a wagon, basically, on the left one. And, and you can see, you know, he's wearing the headdress and signaling for money, however you want to take that. And, of course, a commentary here on Thanksgiving. And, of course, if you don't really know about... If you don't really know about uh, the history of... In, uh, in history, American, Native American history, that there's something with blankets. So if you want to go look that up, you'll see that that is definitely one of the most racist covers, I think, of the Disney Indian Native American books. So there's those. Um, I found this one this year. That's just kind of a funky cover. Kind of a cool, uh, I guess that's... Yeah, Brian Boland cover. I found this Neil Adams cover. I mean, Neil Adams doing Mr. T, like, of course, you got to pick that up. Um, and this is funny. Sarah Palin. I am not, uh, definitely not a, uh, a follower of, you know, Republican or anything, but I just thought it was kind of funny to pick that up and... I do love uh, books that sort of, you know, that break the fourth wall. And, of course, I love uh, David Letterman, so I thought I'd show these, pick these up this year. I thought I'd show both uh, new stand copy and regular. Oh, actually, one's a price variant, too, it looks like. Yeah, 75 cent. That must be a Canadian price variant, I think. And I'd definitely pick this up. I mean, Godzilla vs. Barkley, of course. Um, 
I picked this up at this huge comic warehouse. It's actually like supposed to be the biggest in in Canada. Uh, yeah, biggest in Canada, like second in North America. I guess the guy was saying, you know, next to probably Mile High. He means, um, but this place is insane. It's just like a two-story warehouse, and inside that warehouse, it's just wall books all the way around. If you can imagine wall books, like five layers of wall books all the way around a giant warehouse and two floors of it at, for that and so I picked this up and the guy says well that's a cool dolly cover uh, so I sort of knew who uh, Salva what was it Salvador dolly was but I actually didn't get the reference to the I just thought it was a cool cover and I'd, I'd seen it before I know Steranko does a lot of these weird covers just a cool of course, I always get Nightmare on Elm Street stuff. So I don't see that book around too much. I picked this up. And the guy just... The guy at the cash register just could not stop laughing at this, the pro. He was just really so amused by it. And I knew what it was. I had seen it in other videos, but... Here's, uh... And, uh, number 17... From Beyond the Unknown. We've got Tricky Dick on the cover here. This famous pose. I thought I'd show these swamp things because I really love these. I think it's just the last of Bernie Wrightson, I think number ten. Not even sure, but of course you gotta have Bernie Wrightson Batman and Swamp Thing. Just can't go wrong with that. And I am definitely a Neil Adams fan, just like, oh, actually, I have another Neil Adams book. And so, I picked that up uh, a couple years ago, and, I, and I'm also a, a huge fan of poker, so maybe sometime I'll tell about my poker story, about the money I've made and everything, and I have a little story to tell there, it's kind of interesting, but um, I picked that up, and I just knew it had to be, it just looks like a Neil Adams cover, you know, and... Turns out, I guess it is, so. Um, so there's that, and I guess I will show this last book. It's a Mar it's a limited collection, one of these giant things. See if I can get this to stand without bending. Yeah, so that's just an awesome book. Just cool, more Neil Adams stuff. It's in horrible condition, but... I just picked it up, you know, I got it for pretty cheap, so I was really glad to uh, grab that. Looks like I need to replace that cover on it, replace this uh, bag. And that's no easy task either, finding bags for those. I was glad to grab like six of them off this comic dealer. And Anyway, so thanks for uh, doing this contest, uh, Amazing Murphinator. You know, just keep up the awesome work on those videos. I'll definitely be watching and checking them out every week. All right, thanks a lot, man.